Hello viewers, today I would like to share with you summary and key lessons I learned from a book which has been as the bible of war strategy, as the bible of war tactic, as the bible of war philosophy over the years. The tactics written in this book has proved over the years to be the best tactics. And this book was written by Sun Tzu. He was one of Chinese uh, commander uh, in the army. He was a philosopher and he was also one of the best strategists. This book has 13 chapters and every chapter has a lesson. But there are three lessons which I think everyone must learn. You can apply the lessons of these three lessons which, are, which I'm going to share with you in your personal life. You can share these lessons in the business. You can share these lessons in whatever you're doing, maybe competing with someone on personal level or maybe group level. Even in the war, these strategies can be applied. So the first thing is that, that Sun Tzu says that, that you have to hit the weak area of the enemy. Never ever hit on the strong area of the enemy. Let's say if your enemy is arrogant, how you're going to deal with him? And then he also talked about the strategy. Let's say if he is arrogant, then you show that you are a weak person. So his arrogance will, uh, will kind of underestimate you and then you can win easily. So this is first thing which I learned from Sun Tzu. And the second thing is that all the time understand your enemy. Understand yourself and understand your enemy. How you're going to understand your enemy? Obviously, you have to study it. And from understanding, you can learn two things. The first thing is that, obviously, the first point that if you understand that, that you know, you, the, the, your opponent like to rest. Rest is something which is his weakness. So what you can do, you can all the time continuously attack on him. Never ever let him rest. And because of his habit, he will very soon go to rest and then you can win easily. And the other thing is that once you know your competition, once you know yourself, then you will go for the excellence. You know that what kind of weapons they have, what kind of strategy they have. You do not fight with them for every each strategy on each point. You fight with them on something bigger. Let's say in older days, if the king was killed, if the top people were killed in the war, then automatically the other team who killed the king was the winner. So that is something which has an impact on the, uh, on, the, on the willpower, on the thinking of the opponents. And the third thing is about deception. In the war, Sun Tzu says that, that if you want to win the war all the time, tell, kind of create a deception. If you are near the war point, kind of deceive your opponent and kind of have an image, tell them through some way that you are nearby. You are going to attack when you are away. So when you are nearby, create an image that you are away. And this thing happened in the Second World War when the German army was attacked by the opponents, the Russian, and they kind of uh, spread the message that they are going to attack the city where Hitler was living. I think it is uh, the complete story in, is in the movie Fallen. If you do not read the books, you can also uh, watch that movie. And then kind of they prepared their complete army on the bogus locations to attack while the real ha war happened somewhere else. So they, they, they kind of deceived them that we're going to attack here, but they attacked somewhere else. So this is something which I wanted to share today. And these kind of th these lessons of Sun Tzu, you can implement in your business. If you find it useful, do share it with others. Thank you so much.